prayer on Friday the 6th of November. Leonard Hermit, Commemoration, and William Temple, Archbishop of Canterbury and Teacher of the Faith. A commemoration. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Your faithful servants bless you. They make known the glory of your kingdom. Blessed are you, sovereign God, ruler and judge of all. To you be praise and glory forever. In the darkness of this age that is passing away, may the light of your presence which the saints enjoy surround our steps as we journey on. May we reflect your glory this day, and so be made ready to see your face in the heavenly city where night shall be no more. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. The deer longs for the water brooks, so my soul longs for you, O Lord. My soul is a thirst for God, even for the living God. When shall I come before the presence of God? My tears have been my bread day and night, while all the day long they say to me, Where is now your God? Now, when I think on these things, I pour out my soul, how I went with the multitude and led the procession to the house of God the voice of praise and thanksgiving among those who kept holy day. Why are you so full of heaviness, O my soul? And why are you so disquieted within me? You put your trust in God, for I will yet give him thanks, who is the help of my countenance and my God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Let us pass in the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Psalm 16 Preserve me, O God, for in you have I taken refuge. I have said to the Lord, You are my Lord, all my good depends on you. And my delight is upon the godly that are in the land, upon those who are noble in heart. O the idols of legion that many run after, their drink offerings of blood I will not offer, neither make mention of their names upon my lips. The Lord is himself my portion and my cup. In your hands alone are my fortune. My share has fallen in a fair land. Indeed, I have a goodly heritage. I will bless the Lord, who has given me counsel. And in the, what, in the night watches, he instructs my heart. I have set the Lord always before me. He is at my right hand, I shall not fall. Wherefore, my heart is glad and my spirit rejoices. My flesh also shall rest secure. For you will not abandon my soul to death, nor suffer your faithful one to see the pit. You will show me the path of life. In your presence is the fullness of joy, and in your right hand are pleasures for evermore. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Reading from the book of Revelations. And to the agent or the angel of the church in Macedonia, the words of the Amen, the faithful and true witness, the origin of God's creation. I know your works. You are neither cold nor hot. I wish that you were either cold or hot. So, because you are lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I am about to spit you out of my mouth. For you say, I am rich, I have prospered, and I need nothing. You do not realise that you are wretched, pitiful, poor, blind, and naked. Therefore I counsel you to buy from me gold refined by the fire, that you may be rich, and white robes to clothe you, and to keep the shame of your nakedness from being seen, 
and salve to anoint your eyes, that you may see. I reprove and discipline those whom I love. Be earnest, therefore, and repent. Listen, I am standing at the door knocking. If you hear my voice and open the door, I will come in to you and eat with you, and you with me. To the one who conquers, I will give a place with me on my throne, just as I, my, just as I myself conquered and sat down with my father on his throne. Let anyone who has an ear listen to what the Spirit is saying to the churches. I will sing forever of your love, O Lord. My lips shall proclaim your faithfulness. The heavens bear witness to your wonders. I will sing forever of your love, O Lord. The assembly of your saints proclaim your truth. My lips shall proclaim your faithfulness. Righteousness and justice are the foundation of your throne. Steadfast love and faithfulness go before you. I will sing forever of your love, O Lord. My lips shall proclaim your faithfulness. You will guide us with your counsel, O God, and afterwards receive us with glory. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour born of the house of his servant David, whom his holy prophets God promised of old, to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors, and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, and you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. You will guide us with your counsel, O God, and afterwards receive us with glory. Let us pray. Father God, we give you thanks for this new day for all that it holds, the tasks that we undertake, the conversations we shall have. May we do them in your name, following in the footsteps of the saints before us, proclaiming the good news of your kingdom. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. pray for all democracies in the world, that all elections may be fair, and that the results of such may be taken by the leaders as truthful and honest. May the political wranglings take second place to the needs of the people. Lord, in your mercy, hear us. And pray for our church as we enter this phase of lockdown. May we find new and innovative ways of being out there in the world, opening our doors and our hearts to the people of God. Lord, in your mercy, hear us. We pray especially today for those who find their jobs in peril as more redundancies are announced. Let those, let those who are in fear of their jobs be given comfort that there is a future for them. Lord, in your mercy, hear us. And for all of those who fear the months ahead, the months of darkness and cold, 
shine your light upon them, and gather and gather them in your loving arms, so that they may know the warmth of your love. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Peace and increase in number of people dying from coronavirus. We are with those who grieve. We hope that they are able to wait alongside those who are dying, being able to visit and give them comfort in their last days. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Almighty and eternal God, you have kindled the flame of love in the hearts of your saints. Grant to us the same faith and power of love, that as we rejoice in their triumphs, we may be sustained by their example and virtue. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Uniting our prayers with the whole company of heaven, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thy is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. And Christ, who has opened the kingdom of heaven, bring us to reign with him in glory. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.